Yo, crypto nation and mining family. Crypt crypto nation and mining family. What's going on? And of course, like always, it's not financial advice. Yo. Yo, Crypto Nation and Mining Family, what's going on out there? So, if you guys haven't heard about Litecoin, dude, do a little research. Check out Litecoin. Um, it's one of the earlier forks of Bitcoin. It also follows a lot of the same characteristic traits that Bitcoin has. Not only just from ASIC mining, but on bump but uh, with how they schedule their block happening rewards. And for all of you new, new people out there, what I mean by that is that every four years or whenever 840,000 blocks have been mined, the rewards are cut in half, guys. So in, uh, what is it? 2015 uh, August 26 2015 Bitcoin I mean um, Litecoin underwent its first happening uh, just like how Bitcoin did they went from 50 Litecoin down to 25 and then after 48 days so I mean they had a little bit of a pullback afterwards so definitely hodl on, guys. Um, it Litecoin skyrocketed over 500%. Now, do I think that it's going to do that here again? I have no idea. I've actually never gone through a happening. This is going to be my first one. So it's to me, this is very interesting, really exciting uh, to sit there and see what this is going to bring. Um, will this snap us out of a bear market and rally us into a bull run? I have no idea. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep mining on. I'm going to keep my hash rates high. Like, yo. Um, so, the happening is going to be happening um, in four days, five hours, 25 minutes from the time that I started recording this. Um, and that you know then it'll be the rewards are going to go down to 12.5 litecoin per block reward so if you were let's say it took you let's say you got a litecoin miner let's say it takes you i'm just throwing a random number out there say six months to mine one litecoin well now it's going to take you a year so just kind of think about that guys i'm not sitting here telling you go run out and get some mining equipment start mining litecoin while you can um but definitely it's something to kind of keep an eye on if you have some litecoin uh definitely hodl on with this stuff um it might dump right after the happening from people you know they buy the rumor and they sell the news. So as soon as the news drops that it officially happened, um, will people start dumping their Litecoin? No idea. Um, so like I said, I've never gone through this. This is going to be interesting. I'm actually kind of excited to see this happen. Um, so I mean, for me, I do mine a little bit of Litecoin. So it means that for my coin generation in four days, it's going to take me longer to generate a coin, doubling it. Um, so we'll see if the, the price action matches what's about to happen. And oh, oh, check this out, guys. So let's see if I do this right on the first try. Oh, no, I didn't. Ah, oh, there you go. It just was being delayed. Ah, oh, bam. So, check this out, guys. Boom. So, this is one of my L3 pluses. 
And then I had picked up another one. And it, and it is now this is with the Ant Miners firmware on there. So the other one that I picked up, dude, check this out. Boom! It's different. Check it out. So in the upper corner there, it says Ant Miner, but it says Bliss Z. So this is an aftermarket firmware put onto this Litecoin miner. Um, it's nothing over the top special but it does have a really really cool feature so I mean if you look between the two other than the coloring they have a lot of the same layout of the land um, you come into the minor configuration on either one of them and it looks the same got general got advanced settings got general got advanced settings but if I go into the advanced settings on this one now this is with the regular ant miner with their firmware and it lets you basically control the frequency of the of the hashing boards so if you have one hashing board that's baller and it can handle a little bit of a higher frequency but you have another one that's you know, not as good. Maybe the heat sinks aren't on there as nicely. Uh, maybe a solder joint's not good as good somewhere. God knows what it is. But for whatever reason, the one hashing board, if you try to lean on it, the one hashing board starts having little sectors of it fail. Where the other ones have no problems. Now with this, now if I didn't want to have those hashing sectors having issues I have to tone down the entire miner so even though there's a couple of hashing boards that can handle the higher frequency I can't put it there that's where things differ between the two on here guys so check this out boom look at all these options I've got guys so, you get so much stuff that you were not able to do before. So if it starts having low hash rate, like it, it um, or you have a high number of failures, um, you can change how it mines the dev fee for this by just clicking boxes. Um, you can sit there now, these are what they call global settings. So this affects the entire ASIC. Um, now if I wanna sit there and I wanna take control of it, I can sit there and actually take control of each individual hashing board where I can control the voltage on the hashing board and um, the actual frequency. Um, so I mean there, there is a wide range that I can sit there and do this to. Um, now there's no real big advantage. Um, they had set your frequency at 650 unless you're going to want to turn up the voltage and stick this in a freezer. Um, or if you live in the uh, cold tundra, um, you know, where it's just colder, you know, you basically got icebox temperatures um, that this thing can breathe in. Uh, this thing is not going to live life very long if you start hammering on it, trying to make it stabilize out at the max frequency so don't do that guys I do not recommend it um, now for here you also see that they have it to where the ASIC voltage is at 13 watts per chip so the chips really don't take a whole lot of wattage there's just a whole bunch of them on, on each hashing board so you can sit there and undervolt them a little bit. Um, I don't recommend overvolting them. For one, it'll start just drinking power and then you start running more heat. Heat is the number one killer of electronics, guys. Um, so heat and moisture, two things that are bad. So I don't recommend going above 13 watts per chip uh, in it looks like the person that I had gotten it from whenever they left a lot of their settings up here so they had actually kind of fine-tuned this in a little bit 
Um, I think I want to play with this a little bit myself. Uh, the reason being, guys, so check this out. So, oh, I just, just reset this thing. So, of course, um, I had, uh, actually, no, this, no, I reset the other one. So it looks like it cleared itself up. So this one actually, every once in a while, it has a hiccup and glitches a couple of the hashing boards. Um, a couple of the, the little hashing chips kind of drop out and then they'll come back. So I guess that's tolerable <laughs> as long as they're coming, they're bouncing back up. Um, see if this one will do it so yeah you can see that this is the one that I just uh, changed now I'm have what I'm having an issue with is that this hashing board down here not the same ones fail but it's just on the overclock so I'm gonna want to put down the bliss firmware onto this one too and uh, see if I can just dial in the hashing boards just a little bit better uh, before where these X's are, that uh, the signification that the uh, the chips have failed. Not that they're bad; they're they're, they're just not doing anything. They twinkled out for a moment. Uh, this could be due to they don't like the overclocking on there. Uh, maybe they don't like that it's not running cool enough um, for the voltage that it's pushing. So I'm gonna try to get um, a copy of Bliss Z. This way I can put it on here and dial this one in just a pinch better, guys. Um, so with that, guys, I'm going to pretty much uh, end that one right here. So if you guys have any questions or comments on the Litecoin happening and what that all has in store for you guys, um, I mean, me, myself, I am just accumulating some Litecoin in preparation of that happening not that I'm going to be selling it on the other side of the happening uh, right away but I will definitely be waiting for uh, Litecoin to have its eventual push upward this way I can transfer the Litecoin that I have into some of that busy Bitcoin so with that, guys, if you guys got any questions whatsoever, please, please, like always, drop your comments in down below. Uh, any kind of questions, you know, drop them in down below. I would love to see them. Um, I will, of course, respond to them in a timely fashion, usually. Uh, it's like, you know, I'm a working man, so while I'm at work or something like that, if I got some downtime, I try to at least pop in and answer a few quick questions if I am able to. And um, with that, guys, I will definitely see you all on the next one. Peace.